Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. I'm Fancy Rex. You're Fancy Rex, and I'm not just normal Daniel. Suit up. Just, it's time for some whiskey. <laughs> Uh, so, today's is two things, side by side. You ready? Mm-hmm. The, a totally new Lowland distillery called King's Barn. King's Barn. I, King's I, Barn. No, have, have I heard of this? Well, I joined their Founders Club when they first started three years ago. Okay. Well, not three years now, but... Um, oh, nice box. And they mailed me... Nice box. The new make... It's got... Spirit. It's got shiny bits. Yeah. And then it's got, like, the bumpy bits. Yeah, it's got texture. It's got yeah. It does like an old book. Then there's like a seal in the corner. Oh yeah, there. that's it's classy. Right there, I like. That. So this is actually founded by the Weems family. Weems. Remember the Weems malts that we did during the um, during the Advent calendar? No, you don't, because you weren't there and you didn't watch any of the episodes. <laughs> anyway, this is the Weems family founded a Lowland distillery uh, just south, and I'm gonna pour one glass for this for you, uh, just south of St. Andrews. Mm -hmm. And the Firth of Tay. That poured out really Which cool. makes it right on the edge of the lowlands. Ooh, interesting. So this is so the next place in Scottish his, in whiskey history yeah. that whiskey shows up in writing is in 1494 in uh, the records of basically the bookkeeper for the king. Well, well the bookkeeper for people in charge, and he says, We gave this uh, friar, John right. Corr, right. uh, eight bowls, seven or eight bowls of malt. To, with which to make aqua vitae. But at that time, remember this is the 1400s, 15th uh -huh. century, yeah. it's still new make. It's right. not aged yet. Right, right. So this is going to be headed then. Now this is after centuries of refining that process, but this is new make Scottish malt. I am getting overly ripe fruit. And I'm going to tell you my notes on this. And then some like maybe some blackberry on the nose. Yes. So my, my notes on this were it's a slight vegetal nose right up front. Mm -hmm. And then immediately it switches to a honey malted roundness, like a malt cereal, but with honey. So honey, and then oh, just like a light dusting of cinnamon on that honey. And then green, a greenhouse flowers, where when you walk into a greenhouse, you smell the flowers, so, so, but you also smell the mulch. Yeah. And the plants. Yeah, yeah. Right. And then I got a little bit of citrus and pear. So all the mulchy greenhouse vegetable stuff. Mm -hmm. For me though, that's underneath. It's definitely there, but it's underneath this overly ripe, not where it's starting to smell rotten, right. but just like really ripe. That's why I say mulch. Mul it's okay. almost becoming adding to the garden pile. Yeah. Right? Yeah, but it's not quite rotten. It's, nope. just, it's just super, super Super dense sweet. Dense. Now remember, they gave this as a 63.5%. Damn. Right? So that's hot. Uh huh. So try a little bit and then I'm gonna add some water for you. And then you can try it again. You know, for 63%, it's still beautiful. Yeah. So I also got, uh, at the point I tasted it, honey, vanilla, and then cream. Like a, like a vegetation sugar, but with cream. The lug's coming off of that, man. Yeah. That's crazy. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. I joined the Founders Club. They sent me this. And then three years later, now what do you think about it with a little water added? So it's a different animal. Yeah. Everything is much more softened. It's almost like a creamy layer on top. Yeah, that's where you got the vanilla cream showed up. Yeah. So three years later, they sent this to me. Okay. Oh, it's a big thing. It's the Founders release. Founders Reserve. Yeah. This is the first actual whiskey. Because in Scotland, three years is the minimum, right? Oh, right. So this was distilled in 2015. Yeah. Uh, bottled in 2018. Only 3,000 bottles. And this is the... Uh, number one release. Okay. First time they've ever released a legally a whiskey. It's three years old. Right on. And what I think you're going to be surprised by is how rich it tastes. Three year old Irish. For... <laughs> Space side. A three year old it's an American Lowland, whiskey. Lowland Scotch. Lowland Scotch. Whoa. You're fired from listening to things. <laughs> that's not my job. <laughs> I just suit up and drink the whiskeys. But keep in mind, that's only three years old. Now, they sent this. Here's what's cool to me. They sent this at 62.1%. So which means they did not blend this down or water this down to try to maximize bottle count. A burst of berries and cream on the nose for me. Yes, I completely agree. So my notes on that one. Uh, also, banana and apricot. Banana. 
Bananas. But I totally agree, berries and cream. Uh, There's still a maltiness to it, though. Maybe that 60% is hiding the apricot. I can I can get a sense of banana there. Mm -hmm. But I do get berries and cream, and I get a, a like vanilla. a cereal malt note, and too. And I'm getting vanilla. Yep. Mm -hmm. Isn't that pretty? Mm -hmm. Now try it. And this is when it just became straight up vanilla cream custard. That's really nice. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of the filling of a Cadbury egg. Yeah. You ever had the Cadbury eggs? Yeah. The chocolate eggs? Yeah. So, so the first half of this whiskey mm -hmm. is beautiful. It's rich and it's vibrant. And then the second half, then you start to realize the, the youngness. Yes, it's shiny. Yeah. And gets a little bit metallic sweet. And, and slight. And it bitey. It doesn't fade off into the dis distance. Like, it slight goes like this. I, I can do the audible representation of the whiskey. Right? <laughs> Ready? Okay, bring it on. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's the whiskey. Like angels and done. Right. <laughs> so right. The, the age, though, you put a few more years on this, that's the kind of thing, from what I can tell, that's mm -hmm. the kind of thing that happens the longer whiskey goes. Then you start to get these longer, more um, rich, interesting uh, finishes. Try it with water. They start to overlap and, and play with each other a bit. They suit up and get it on. <laughs> and what? Oh, this is water. Yeah, just water added. Probably took it down to about 55. Mm -hmm. See, that made it nicer from beginning to end. Yeah, but you do lose some of that richness on the front end. You do. Yep. It thins it enough that the oils. It's not heavy on the oil. Right. Right. Yeah, that's really nice right now, and it's heading headed in an amazing direction. Isn't that beautiful? That is a great. So this Irish, was actually Irish or American whiskey. Do I get to be a magnificent bastard if I paid one. for these and donated them to the vault? During Daniel month? Yeah. It's a little incestuous. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, we got comments here. We got the uh, the one that you put off until today. Oh, yeah. Brooke Lottick question. Uh, hello, you magnificent bastards. I want to say, I think I want to stay on Isla for my next dram. I've been very intrigued by the Brooke Lottick distillery and its many expressions. Mm -hmm. What would you say is the best one of theirs? I'm into peated whiskeys as Oogie. You talking about Oogdong? Yeah is my favorite, uh, but I'm open to trying anything. I unfortunately don't have the budget for an Octomore. Seems pretty nitro for the money anyways. I don't know what that means. I mean, I'm, I'm not that hip and yeah. with it. We're not down with the current slang of the kiddos. <laughs> <laughs> wiggity, wiggity, wiggity. Oh, God. <laughs> I mean, I am wearing like a rapper bling, but that doesn't... That's, but this like dates back to like Run DMC it's, era. It's pretty, it's pretty <laughs> rad, Flavor Flav. <laughs> Possible options are Port Charlotte Tin and Isla Barley, Rockside Farm 2007, Organic 2003, Classic Lottie. I'd love your thoughts. All of those are unpeated except for the Port Charlotte. I, if I remember correctly, so I. The only things that I remember are the Classic Lottie and the Port Charlotte Tin. And the Port Charlotte Tin for me. It's like a phenomenal. Oh yeah, so uh, according to your, here's my answer, right. and you guys uh, feel free to comment below. Yeah. According to your list, I think in your flavor profile, start with Port Charlotte. Yeah. However, yeah. on a personal note, mm -hmm. Organic 2003 is one of my favorite Brooklotties I've ever tried in my life. Okay. And it's no longer available anywhere on our whole area, Ooh. and I haven't even been able to find a website that you can order it on. Um, so look, if you found the Organic, uh, just know it's almost impossible to get that now, and right. uh, you're lucky that you found it at all. Right. That thing you said. You want another question? Sure, let's take the second half of the other thing that you're we just skipped. You're just so selective about questions in the midst of your illegitimate month. Hello, my name is Richard Curley from across the pond. Hi! It's England. Is, are you sure? It's England. Could be. I read that in a book. <laughs> I would like to take the time to say thank you, sirs, Daniel and Rex, uh, for the being the magnificent bastard you are. I love the videos, and I am in stitches at the banter and enjoy <laughs> learning about whiskey. Because you're drunk. Yes. <laughs> you're drunk, Richard. It's fine. <laughs> anyway, my wife, Stephanie, has given birth on Sunday the 24th of February. So very, right. recent, very recently. Very recently. Yeah. To add to her clan, so I'd love it if you gave a quick toast to our new baby boy, Chester. Chester. Much appreciated. Keep up the good works from Richard, Steph, and three-year-old Parker, and brand new Chester. Chester. Man. Chester Curly. You, what a name. You brand new, magnificent, probably not a bastard. Your parents seem like lovely yeah, people. Yeah, we, we seem, evidently we know your father. Right. Yeah. So you're not a bastard, really. And he said, wife. Yeah. So, <laughs> just a magnificent Chester. Cheers. 
<laughs> I wish I had a name like Chester Curly. I feel like I should be a boxer. Yeah. Like he's gonna have to grow up to be a boxer. Handlebar mustache. Yeah. You box him. My like name that. is Chester Curly. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it's like this. Yeah. Because this is the one. This is the one you load up, and that's how you keep them at bay. <laughs> that's right. And then you bloody their nose. See, and then. Yep, it's a thing. Okay, is there any other <laughs> things you want to do in the midst of your illegitimate? No, I think that's good. We just hit the second stop on the historical uh, trail of. Oh, you were sort of denied on that. Down stall around the rim and yeah. Uh, the, so the suit got my heart. Uh, tomorrow is the the next round of when whiskey might have shown up in the world in general. I am not storing up animosity in your illegitimate month at all. You're kind of having fun. Here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight me, fight for a friend. If you steal, may you steal a lover's heart. And if you drink, may you drink with us. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us in the Whiskey Vault. Don't forget to throw in a like, hit that subscribe button on the bottom right, and drop a question or comment down below.